Hello Greece fans and welcome to another Mondeo Mark IV video. This time we're changing the front discs and pads. As always safety first, make sure the car is jacked up and resting safely on axle stands. Never rely solely on a jack. First job is to remove the metal spring clip from the caliper and pull the brake pipe out of the bracket on the shock absorber. You can then remove the caliper slide bolts. The bolts are hiding behind a little plastic cover. Once the cover is removed you'll need an allen key or hex bit for your ratchet. As usual, I've put a link in the description to all the tools and parts you'll need for this job. With the slide bolts out, you can then remove the caliper. You can then go ahead and remove the old pads. Next job is to push the piston back into the caliper. Best practice here is to clamp the brake hose and open the bleed nipple before doing this so that the old brake fluid goes out of the caliper and not back into the ABS unit. Now I haven't got the brake pipe clamp so I wrapped an old rag around the pipe and used a pair of mole grips. You also need to put a pipe on the bleed nipple with the other end into some sort of container to just stop the brake fluid from squirting all over the place. To press the piston back you can use a special tool or just a basic bar clamp like the one I've got here. Once that's done you can close off the bleed nipple and move the caliper out of the way. Next we need to remove the caliper carrier bracket. Now these bolts are usually very tight so you may need to use a long breaker bar or something similar for this job.
Now the disc itself is held in place with two small spring clips attached to the wheel studs so you'll need to remove those next. Now at this point you'll usually find that the disc is stuck very tight to the hub as they tend to rust and weld themselves to the hub. You want to start by giving it a few hard whacks with a hammer on the face of the disc where it joins the hub. Now in my case the disc was still very tight so I had to persuade it off with a hammer whilst turning the disc to make sure it came off evenly. Now this can take quite some time depending on how badly rusted the discs are. With the disc off make sure you clean the hub with a wire brush uh, before fitting the new disc. Now you might notice that this disc looks a bit different to the one that came off and it turns out that they actually gave me the wrong disc. I think this one was for a, uh, a Ford Galaxy rather than a Mondeo. It was almost exactly the same except that the stud holes are slightly larger. But anyway I continued to fit these just for the purposes of the video. Uh, but I had to change them later for the correct ones. I'll put a link in the description to the correct discs. You'll also notice that these discs are actually fully painted to stop them rusting in storage. Now the paint does rub off once you start using the brakes. With the new discs on you can refit the caliper bracket. I like to use a bit of thread lock on the bolts just for extra safety. Next, apply a bit of ceramic grease to the bracket where the pads go. Uh, you can use copper grease if you prefer or silicon grease. Also put a bit of grease on the tabs and the back of the new pads before fitting them. Then refit the caliper and apply a bit of grease to the slide bolts before refitting those. Refit the slide bolt caps, push the brake hose back into its bracket, refit the caliper spring clip and the job is pretty much done. Uh, or just finally you'll need to make sure you go in the car and pump the brake pedal a few times just to reset the position of the piston in the caliper otherwise when you drive off you won't have any brakes. And don't forget, it will take a little while for the new disc and pads to bed in before the brakes are back to full efficiency.